Hey beloved, my name is Krista Pettiford and today I want to share with you the prophetic word for June. The Lord spoke to me and he said come up higher and he reminded me that it's an invitation that he has extended to all of his children that sometimes we do not come up to. I want to read you a, um, some an entry from one of my journals when the Lord spoke to that, spoke that to me, but he brought me back to it at the end of last month. And the reason why he is calling us up higher is because there's some things that he wants to show you. He says in Revelation 4, after these things, I looked and behold a door standing open in heaven. And at and the first voice, which I heard, was like a trumpet speaking to me saying, come up here and I will show you things that you must that must take place after. And when God calls us up higher, the way that we go up higher to see what we cannot see from a place of the lower levels, we're talking about heavens. There's the lower heavens and there's the higher heavens, which Paul was invited into and which he frequented. And so he said he has been in the third heavens and, the, and there's the heavens where the enemy fights. And then there's down here where we um, do combat with smaller demonic forces that have access to our um, atmosphere in the earth realm. And then there's demonic activity that is going on above us. And then there's the third heavens where where there's angelic activity saying that the Lord causes us to come up higher. We've already been given access. Ephesians 2, 6 says he has seated us together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And so we have positionally been granted a seat and that is where we positionally sit spiritually. But in our flesh, we tend to not uh, walk in our calling in the fullness of our calling and we deal in the flesh because we're earthly and so we dwell in earthly vessels and so it takes starving the flesh and I heard the Lord say to me that I was supposed to go back to the altar and so I have even asked my church if I can come into the altar come into prayer earlier than everyone else just to lay out before the Lord because he's calling us back to the threshing floor because the way up is down to seek the Lord's face, to lay out and cry before him in the secret place that he might bring you up. Um, John was on the Isle of Patmos. He was alone by himself with the Lord when the Lord began to show him things. And Revelations chapter four, verse two says, immediately I was in the spirit after he received the invitation. He said, immediately I was in the spirit and behold a throne set in heaven and one set on the throne. So when God calls you to come up higher, he's talking about the throne room, that he's inviting you to an invitation to the throne room. And so he began to see a vision of the throne room. And then that is where the Lord began to reveal the book of Revelation to him. After he had seen, he had talked about the churches and he had already been invited to see things. The spirit had already opened up a level of revelation to him. But then there came the throne room where he was invited even higher to see. And so God wants to give you a vision of your future where you can see things that must take place. But not only is he going to show you, but with that, God will give you strategy. He will give you instruction, direction, and correction. But I want to share with you. And so the word of the Lord, if it was it hasn't been clear, is to come up higher, to do what you must in this season, even though it's a summer, summertime, the time when people are eating and drinking and partying and stuff, to... Um, and just enjoying summer um, that he wants his people to consecrate because there's so much that is about to happen and there's so much that has already taken place in the earth realm that he has strategies for you so that you would not bear the results of the recession or anything and then there's some things that must be broken and so he's also calling some of us into a time in prayer and fasting because some things are not going to come out at least we pray and fast not just pray and not just fast because fasting starves your flesh so that you can get into the presence of the lord and you can sit in your heavenly position in reality so or in 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 the natural realm let me put it that way in reality we are seated but in our daily experience we don't 
live from that place of be, being seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, which represents our authority and our ability to see what God has given us. And so he calls us up higher. And I want to share something out of my journal dated March 2000. Seven, Sunday, March, I didn't put the date for some reason, but it's 2017. And it says here, if you stay in the place of the low levels, this is the Lord speaking to me. He speaks to me and I record it. If you stay in the place of the low level, where you are engaging in combat with the enemy face to face, his deceit will defeat you. I have called you up to a higher place and I have never taken back that invitation, but it is up to you and it is as it is open to you to come to the place I have prepared for you and remain there. So sometimes we frequent the secret place. But God says there is a place where you can remain, to come up higher and remain there. There's a place that, there's a way by staying in the secret place, by living from that place, that you can remain in the higher place that he's called you. Build according to the pattern. I will show you. There's something that you are called to build in this season. He reminded me of this word, um, but he will show it to you. Earth does not have the blueprint. The ministry I has or I have called you to and ordained you to is ordained in heaven. And then he goes on to say some more personal things about he's called me to be a woman of woman who loves and prays and you are a prayer a prophet and a preacher you're a woman who loves her god and her family and so he goes into some different things there but i want to encourage you as the lord brought me back to this and said this is a season to stay to come up not to just come up but to remain there because there's things that I want to show you and the blueprints and the questions that you're asking God for and even the solutions that you're looking for to things that are going on in your life as I am mine, um, are you're not going to have you, ha you're not going to get those answers in the earthly realm, even with all the preaching and teaching, one word from God can change the trajectory of your life. And he wants to show you the blueprints. He wants to give you correction. He wants to instruct you in the way that you should go. He wants to direct, give you directions on what to do next. And, and again, instruction. And so I encourage you to find a time to set aside for the Lord and to seek the Lord's face, even in fasting and praying. This is the word of the Lord, I think, for the end of the, for this season for this um july we go july august september we enter into the prophetic hebraic new year the biblical calendar this september i think 26 or something like that i'll mark it down there i don't know the exact date but it's this year it's later in september the uh hebraic new year um uh, Rosh Hashanah, the beginning of year. Um, and then there is the Passovers, which is another beginning of year. But we passed through that and we're going into Rosh Hashanah. And the Lord is wanting his people positioned. He wants to give revelation so that we are prepared for what is coming in this new season. So he is starting now. And so I encourage you to seek the Lord, to get on the floor so he can take you up higher, to go low so that you can go high, to seek his face like never before. And not just God, what do you want from me? But just to lay before him and seek him, not what do you have for me and laying out all your requests, but just getting quiet so that you can hear his voice, so that you can hear what he wants to show you. Because as you sit there and lay there and worship and, and just commitment to him, and you turn off all the distractions, he's gonna call you into his throne room. His throne room. He's gonna call you to come up higher because then he's gonna say, now I've got your attention and I wanna show you some things, some things that you've been praying about, some things that haven't even been on your mind. Some of the things sometimes when we fast and seek God, he shows us things that we've been praying about. And sometimes you'll put something on your fast list, at least that happens for me. And it's like, God will speak something completely different. But that is the strategy because it wasn't on your mind because you couldn't have got it for yourself. You couldn't have gotten that. So you're over here praying about this and God's saying, do this one thing. And as you begin to do the one thing he's called you to do, all the other things come into place. So that's what God wants to do for you. And so I pray that this Lord, this word bless you.